Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. It is July the 8th, 2021. But before we jump into things here, I want to remind everyone that I do have some links in my description. One is a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I actually get a small bonus from that, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Your Playmat link with a custom affiliate code, and you can actually get discounts for your custom playmats there. Here are my lovely Patreon support. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. Okay, with that being said, let's jump into these movers here today, starting to list off with Merktide Regent. This mythic from Modern Horizons 2 is down 8.49% today from 2416 to 2211. Our next loser on the list is Pitiless Plunderer. This uncommon from Rivals of Ixalan is finally retracing 12% from 1294 to 1139. Our next loser on the list is a reserveless card, believe it or not, from Mirage Circle of Despair. This card is down 15.91% from 641 to 539. We've got another reserveless card, Pygmy Hippo from Visions. This card is down 21.41% from 1261 to 991. And our last loser on the list is yet again another reserveless card from Visions, Equipose. It's down 24.26% from 1665 to 1261. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Minamo School of Water's Edge. This legendary land from Champions of Kamigawa is up 7.22% today from 1855 to 19. 89. Now this card does see play across a variety of formats, but Commander utilizes this card the most with commanders like Lonus Cryptozoologist, which is a card we got in Modern Rises 2, same as Garth One-Eye, but it also sees a bit of play in Merfolk in Modern. The next card on our list today is Phantasmal Image. This is the reprint from Modern Masters 2017. This card is up 7.31% from 1437 to 1542. If you actually compare it to the original printing of the card from Magic 2012, it's about the same price, pretty comparable there. This card is seeing play right now, mostly in five color humans decks, but it does see a bit of play in Commander like Lonus Cryptozoologist. And the next card we have is Coat of Arms. This is the 10th edition printing of this artifact. It is up today 7.32% from $15.84 to $17. This card is an absolute powerhouse in Commander, especially in Tribal Commander decks where it shines the most. This card is seeing play right now in Shatterfang Squirrel General decks, which is a card we got in Modern Rises 2. Sees play in Cranko Mob Boss and even Elves and other Tribal Commander decks. The next card we have on our list today to talk about is Sapling Symbiosis. Now this is a card that was on our list yesterday from Invasion. This card is up 7.35% today from 1537 to 1650. Now this card pairs well with Squirrel Tribal decks, so that's where it's going to see most of its play in Commander. Decks like Chatterfang Squirrel General use this card, but it also sees a bit of play in Slimefoot the Stowaway. The next card on our list is a reserveless card from the dark, a four horsemen set, Hidden Path. Yes, this card is up today 7.37% from 3241 to 3480. This card actually sees a bit of play in Commander, especially Chatterfang Scroll General decks, which is really pushing the price of a lot of cards up. Also sees a bit of play in Lord Wingrace as well. This card's print run is 134,000 copies ever printed from the dark. The next card on our list is Commander's Plate. This is a mythic from Commander Legends. This artifact equipment is up 7.52% from 1410 to 1516. Now, this card being a card printed in Commander Legends, it would make sense that most of the play it sees is in that Commander format, and it sees a lot of play in Ragavan Nibble Pilfer decks, which is a card from Modern Horizons 2, but also sees a bit of play in other Commanders as well. The next card is yet another reserveless card from Antiquities, a Four Horsemen set. This is Sentinel Druid. This card is up 14.90% from 1892 to 2174. Now, because this is a card from Antiquities, it had its print run disclosed, and this card has had only 93,000 copies ever printed without any reprints because it is a reserveless card. 
The next card we have to talk about today is Spiritual Sanctuary, another reserveless card from a Four Horsemen set, Legends. This card is up 15.40% from 46.88 to 54.10. Now, this is a rare from Legends, so we know that there is only 19,300 copies of this card ever printed, which is the exact print run for all Legends rares. And the next card that's on our list today is not a reserve list card. It is Crime and Punishment from Dissension. This rare flip card is up 27.72% from 404 to 516. Now this card does see play across a variety of formats, but the format that really is pushing this card's price up today is Modern. Yes, Modern is pushing this card's price up because it's seeing play in Black Green Sacrifice and also three color control decks. Sees a bit of play in Niv to Light as well in Modern as well as Commander decks. Our last card on the list today is a reserveless card. Yes, a reserveless card from Legends, which is a four horseman set. This card is the Abyss. Very iconic artwork on this. It's up 37.51% from $1,236 to $1,700. This card sees play in three color control and legacy, but it also sees a lot of playing commander, especially like Sliver Queen decks and Marin of the Clan Noel Toth. Now this card's print run was disclosed and there's only 19,300 copies because it is a Legends Rare. Now we're gonna take a look at the biggest foil winners of the day and we are going to start that list off here with Fiery Justice. This is a time shifted card up 26.78% from 646 to $8.19. And the next foil winner on our list is Repercussion from Urza's Destiny. This old border foil is up 29% from 104 to 135. We've got Skizit from Invasion. This card is up 44.17% from 557 to 803. And our next foil mover is another old border foil, Thumatog. It's up 60% from 806 to $13. Our next foil mover is another card from Invasion is Captain Cisse. It's up 70% from 75.29 to 128. And the next foil mover on our list is Sarah's Blessing. This is a 9th edition card up 83% from 7.54 to 13.84. And our next card is Pack Hunt, another old border foil from Nemesis. It's up 96.97% from 5.28 to 10.40. Our next foil mover is another card from Invasion, Collapsing Borders. It's up 138% from $2 to $4.76. We've got Crown of Flames, another card from Invasion, an old border foil, up 152% from $9.69 to $24.48. And our last foil mover on the list is, yes, another card from Invasion, Sabo's Assassin. It's up 244% from $3.50 to $12.05. Okay, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, hit that like button so this video does get shared in YouTube's algorithm. That way, this video will be shown to new people and my channel can continue to grow. Thank you all so much again for supporting the channel the way you guys do. And also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was and how many cards on the list you actually own. I read every single comment that you guys leave. Leave, so please share your thoughts down below. I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.